Good morning once again from Cambodia. We're in a new city at the moment. We've been here for about five days now. This is Batambong, the country's second largest city. Although, strangely, it really has more of a small town vibe, which is fantastic. In case you can't tell, it says Batambong. <laughs> We've been taking it pretty easy here. Surprisingly, it has a fantastic cafe culture. There are so many restaurants, so many cafes, and they all have great character. The food has been fantastic. I mean, in all of Cambodia, the food has been top notch. Also, I had no idea that there was street art in Batam Bong. Yeah, we were just basically walking around and I kept stumbling across these murals. And I never really thought of Cambodia as a place for street art, especially not Batam Bong. Uh, but yes, it is an up and coming, trendy, artsy sort of city and they do have an art festival every couple of years here. Um, there was one just in 2023. During that festival, they put up a whole bunch of new murals. They look incredible. I found a map online. So what we're gonna do today is go exploring around the cafes, hit a couple of those, while also following this street art map to find all the murals. Sounds like my kind of day. I feel like this is the best opportunity that I've had to have Western breakfast on this entire Asia trip. It's looking good. Right. Oh, is it spicy? Those jalapenos. Oh, jeez. Jalapenos. Oh, I love that cafe. That's the second time we've been there. Um, it's definitely the more westernized of the cafes in the area, but you know what? After traveling Asia for six months, as much as I love Asian food, sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned Western French toast breakfast, and it was so good. Obviously, prices are a little bit higher for Western food. I think it was three fifty for French toast, U.S. Um, but yeah, that's that's a really decent price for what we got, I think, and it's a really nice atmosphere as well. Okay, stop number two. Oh, you get Oreos too. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Now I got a quality coffee. Look at you. I went for the strawberry lemonade. But I think this one wins. Oh, that was good. That's so I've seen images of this mural online, but in the images, this book is not Animal Farm. It doesn't say anything, so someone added this Animal Farm onto this mural afterwards. Oh, 
Got some Chinese food now. It says Chinese noodle with beef. Oh, it's a bat! Oh, yeah. Oh. Ah, we've got some obstacles here to see these ones. I'm not sure if that computer was there in this original mural. I feel like it was added afterwards. Bears or wolves or something? I polar bears sitting on a bit of snow and hmm. something rough. That's probably some climate change. Thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm, I like his Crocs. Lots of locals have Crocs with oh. funny things in them. <laughs> Large. Yeah, it's like 14 inch. Yeah. And there's about two olives on there, which oh. is excellent. <laughs> We're having quite the Western day actually yeah, today. French toast are. and pizza. I mean, we had Chinese we food had Chinese for lunch. Food, but... Yeah, we're not, we're not complete, uh, fellow. <laughs> uh, we need a day like this every so often. Another amazing restaurant in Batambang. We've come here for breakfast once or twice. Amazing food. We got some extremely thick Cambodian coffee. It's quite good though. It is. It's different. Hmm, it's not bitter in any way. I feel like it, it must be thickened with something. And here it is. Pork and rice for breakfast. Also, a lot of times in Cambodian restaurants, they'll bring you some free tea. Sometimes it's cold and they bring it to you with ice. Sometimes mm. it's hot. You never really know what you're gonna get. <laughs> it's hot today, which is perfect. Oh. 